So, today we are going to see about what is web development and what is front-end development. Let's start with web development. Web development is nothing, better process of creating a website that can be launched in internet or intranet. Whatever comes, whenever we need some information. The first two things which comes into our mind is a browser and Google. So, we search for the things, we search for the ideas and get the best out of it. So for that, we need a particular website, Google also the transformer search or get the results in a form of website, and in that website we'll be searching further, getting our results. So in the website the creation of a website is nothing but a web development which has several process into it. So, it involves a complete process from designing a website, content creation, client-side coding or server-side coding, networking, hosting and maintenance. This process starts from the designing of website from what over the content we need to display to the particular to the user, and then the coding part. Also in the coding part, we have two types of coding part that is from the client side part. We need to code it, and after that we will go for service site, and then comes the networking and hosting our website and the maintenance. Maintenance part continues till we hold our website. So, the website is nothing but collection of web page, and the coding part stands for the each and every web page part. So, initially a purpose set will be designed, and after that it will be more due to the front-end developer who will take care of designing that particular website in the form of static web pages like HTML, CSS and JavaScript, if needed, and after that the actual logic and the database logic will be transformed, will be taken card by the back-end persons. So, these are all back-end development and initially what we saw as front-end development. So, part of developers work in the design and interface part which is called front-end development, and other parts of developers work in the database service site, coding off the website, which is called back-end development. For example, we take a website. So, in that website, first, we need to log into the web to the particular website, in order to book our train tickets, so, in that we have two controls, one is text box control where we will be entering user ID and password, and other is a submit button control. In that control, we will be submitting whatever the user entered data that means a user ID and password, that will be entered through the submit button. So, in that the controls which we see is the user interactive control that is called as a front-end development. So, these will be designed and developed in the form of HTML, and that part is front-end development. The other things, so once we submit that particular information will be sent to the server which will be handling the logic, the particular logic which will be taken care here is, it will check for whether the user already is correct exists in the database, and the password matches with that particular user ID. And so, once everything is okay it will give the response as it will ask us to log in then if not, it will give the data that, user ID is not existed in the database, or password does not match with the database with the user ID. So, whatever the logic or whatever the data given from the server that will be again handled from the front-end development or front-end developer guy, and he or she will show this as an error to that particular web page. So, I think it will be clear now. Like front-end development has whatever the users see, whatever the user interact with. But on the back-end, is something which the user does not see. In the back-end, logic will be full taken care by the server and database. The actual data will be stored there, and actual logic will be stored and applied in there. We will not be able to see that. So what is front-end? So, as we discussed here, the front-end development is also called as client-side programming. This is also a process of displaying the data in the user interactive way. So, it is not about to display the content, but to display the content in an interactive way. Each and everything we can enter our input. So, wherever we will be going for the banking site. In that banking site, we will be giving the user ID, password or the date of birth and anything. So, whatever user clicks and enter that will be the user interaction, and this should be made simple, so that users to build user experience. So, everything the user sees in the browser and interacts with, is front-end. It also reserves the data from the user through various user interactive controls. So, as we discussed we have textbooks controls. 
we have button, we have numbers, pin range controls, date textbooks and or several interactive controls are there to get the user input. These input whatever has been obtained. These input has been, will be transferred to the server for the for further processing, and once after the server did that logic, it will be received from this sense. The actual data from the server to the front end or back to the front end thing, and it receives back the response from the server, and displays the same to the user. This is the actual flow will be going like this. For better understand, we'll see it in the diagrammatic way. So, user is entering a browser and enters whatever the data he needs, he or she needs. So, then the request will be sent whatever the request he or she needs. That request will be captured from the browser, and it will be sent to the server. Then, the response will be sent from the server which will be again captured by the front end or by the browser, and the actual reasons will be thrown. So, whatever the browser uses, so that comes into the front end and whatever the server logic is that comes under the back end. So, this is the main difference between the front end and the back end, which which should not be confused with any other logics. So, as I said before, so front end is nothing but these three things. The combination of HTML, CSS and JavaScript or JavaScript frameworks also. So, whatever the frameworks or whatever the library is available, so these all comes under the JavaScript. Basically, JavaScript frameworks will be built on top of JavaScript only and HTML. The version will be sent to either 4.1 or 5 or CSS 2 or 3, and JavaScript frameworks. So, these are all the comments. All the combinations comes in the front end. I hope you find out this video useful. If you like it, then press the like button. Share it with your friends or family members. Do you have any suggestions regarding the content? Comments section is all yours. If you want such type of informative videos, then do subscribe to the channel. See you in next video.